Okay, and welcome back to part, this is part three of my No Slots Final Fantasy VII tutorial. Um, let me go ahead and... Sorry, just doing some adjustments on my Twitch right now. Okay. Um... Alright, so this is part three of my FF7 No Slot speedrun tutorial. We just got done with Materia Keeper. I'm gonna go in this part of the tutorial, I'm gonna go all the way up to the end of disc one, alright? So, first thing that you do when you exit, let me just see if I did it already. I don't think I... I did, I think. It looks like I, I did. Yes, okay, so... The first thing that you should have done before, when you exited Mount Nabel, just to recap, is unequip the fire material from Cloud, which should now be having pretty good amount of uh, AP built into it. Um, replacing the one, the all with the AP with the all that's blank, which we did, and then uh, unequipping Transform from Cloud as well, and giving him back Restore. Um, sadnessing everybody, make sure they're all saddened. Except for, I think at this point, Cloud is still in trouble with limit breaks. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and if you are in a situation where you need to catch up on Bravers and hope that you can use Palma for that, you're just going to keep him at normal. So you're going to use a Hyper on him to make it so that Palma will do normal damage to him. ATB is on active and you tented yourself to make sure you had full HP and mana. And then you go off to Rocket Town. Alright, so there is a chance here. I hope it happens, honestly. Okay, it didn't. There is a chance on the way to Rocket Town for you to get a pincer attack. If you get a pincer attack on the way to Rocket Town, you're gonna toss whatever remaining Molotovs you have to get out of it. On the, gu on the single guy on the left. There will be a single dragon and two wolves in the pincer encounter. You're going to throw mollies and try and burst down the di single dragon on the left so you can run away from that encounter. It is a potential run-ending encounter, so you want to be careful. All right, first thing you're going to do when you get to Rocket Town, you're going to go in the shop here. So you're gonna, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to item, you're going to sell the wizard staff, the mithril armlet, the mithril clip, the gem ring, the titan bangle, and the leather glove. That's what you're going to sell. Then, it, out of the items, then you're going to sell materia. Now be very careful. Now, selling materia does not give you a confirm option like do, are you sure you want to sell this materia yes or no so you want to make sure you don't accidentally sell the wrong material which I have done in the past okay so you're gonna sell fire transform and all and then just to get rid of space I like to sell this stupid sense material that you got from red now that's all you sell then buying this is where it gets tricky you're gonna buy barrier at least for this tutorial right now, you're going to buy Barrier and Exit. Then you're going to go back, you're going to buy 31 Tranks. So this should take care of all the Tranks you ever need for the entire run, as long as you're smart about it. Then you're going to buy maybe two, three Phoenix Downs, and you're going to buy the rest with High Potions. You get as many High Potions as possible. Spend all your money here. Now, as far as equipment goes, Go to Materia, put Barrier on Cloud, Counter Attack on Tifa, and then you're done. So now it's just dialogue, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, save and fast forward through this part. So you're going to go over here, talk to the tiny Bronco, Cheryl will come tell you, she can go speak to the captain who's Sid, you know we all love Sid, he's in the rocket so you got to make your way up to the rocket. Talk to him, just 
change his name, all that good stuff. Again, single letter names in the actual speedrun, you guys. Single letter names in the actual speedrun. And just select first option, talk to him till he doesn't talk to you anymore, and just mopes in the corner. And then you just leave. Then you go back to Sid's house. Then you're gonna hear the sob savvy story from Shara about how his dreams were dashed and stuff like that. It's a good break for your stream, but you don't have really an opportunity. You have a 30 second window if you really want to take a breather. Like you've got a 30 second window of the countdown and the cinematic to, um, to go grab a drink if you really want to, but it's really not that long. I did see it, Fafnir, I did. Thank you so much, my friend. Alright, so, now we're gonna fight Palmer. Okay. So, first thing you're gonna do on Palmer, since Cloud needs limit breaks, we're gonna go ahead and use his limit break right away. And you're gonna bio with red, and have Tifa, she's going to be healing during the fight. So she's going to heal herself because she got attacked. So you're going to hope for a poison, which did not occur. So you're going to keep trying to poison with uh, Red, while you aqua along with Cloud and heal with Tifa. Now again, you're ho we're hoping to build up some of Cloud's limit breaks during this, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. What's up, Fluffy? How you doing, man? And Palmer is not being very, uh, very sympathetic to our cause right now. Alright, so now that he poisoned, what I like to do is I like to do a sled fang on Red to give a little extra damage and a couple extra poison ticks. And now that, um, since we have Trine for Materia Keeper, go ahead and use Trine on Cloud. Okay, so because we got that limit break here, we're gonna go ahead and after the Trine, we're gonna use it. I don't remember how many Cloud had. But it's better to be safe than sorry at this point. I will be doing runs tomorrow and Saturday, Sausage. Okay, so there goes Palmer. He's down. And it looks like I'll be doing a speedrun on Monday, probably. So, since our raid days are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for WoW, I've got to do as many runs as I can on the other days. Alright, so good. We do have Cross Slash, so now all we need is to build up the limit break for it. Alright, so we'll just skip through this part. Again, this should be a pretty short section of the tutorial today, just because we're almost done with Disc 1 anyway. So this will be a short one. So, once you spawn, you're going to go back to Gold Saucer. So, we're, you don't worry about going anywhere near Yuffie's Island. Alright, this actually works out pretty good, believe it or not, because 
you'll save a little bit of time with Cloud being dead. When you do the Gold Saucer battle, and you if Cloud starts off dead, the, the battle is automatically over, and you basically get the Keystone for free. So, it's actually a good scenario, in this case, for Cloud to be dead. Now, normally, if you... You wouldn't want Cloud to be dead if you have a built-up limit break with Cross Slash already. But seeing as how we were in a, a pickle trying to get Braver to begin with, it's not a bad situation to have him just stay dead for this portion. Alright, then there's only one menu you gotta do here. And that is you're gonna swap Materia out from Red. So you're gonna go to your Materia menu, go into his thing and hit just hit Remove All, and that's all you gotta do. Thanks, Celadon. What's up, JJ Scrib? Welcome, guys. Or JJ's Crib. Sorry, I'm dumb. I always, I always fuck up your name at the beginning, JJ. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part again. Yeah. Now, sorry for those of you that want to see the the date. You'll just have to play the game yourself. I'm not interested in the date. I'm interested in getting this tutorial done in a timely manner for you guys. So you just go straight to the battle square to Dio's room. You say yes to his thing, now watch, I'm going to be dead, so it's going to automatically be over. You get the keystone, yeah, 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 easy peasy. Go back to the station. Cla Kasis says, oh, let's go bunk up in the hotel. So you do. This is going to be like a 15-minute tutorial section, Jesus Christ. Actually, no, because I'm going to want to spend a lot of time on Demon's Gate. Yeah, I'll spend quite a bit of time on Demon's Gate and stuff. Okay. So, I'm, it's not going to be that short. I am going to spend quite a lot of time just talking about strategy. Uh, well, I was streaming WoW most of the, the day, Celadon. The second I switch over to FF7... <laughs> I get 30 more viewers, it's crazy. I didn't even do a new announcement, so... Um, it's just kind of funny, so thank you guys for coming by. So, here's a funny thing. Okay, I'm just gonna point this out. So you saw... When you caught... When you caught Kaseth, he jumped in either, I think it was the Wonder Square or the Battle Square. He was the Battle Square. If you just jump right to the Chocobo Square and run up, he's automatically there. And you just skip the whole chasing scenario. It's, it saves you a full minute, honestly from running back and forth through the places if you just go right to the chocobo square so it is pretty cool now make sure you grab this elixir in here you will need it alright so that being done it's time to go to the temple of the ancient alright go ahead Fafnir well I'll hear you out Ah, uh, no, JJ just doing tutorial stuff for this night. The only problem with that, Fafnir, is you need the water ring to sell it. That's the issue I see you running in with that. Alright, so here you're gonna sell the Endicote. You're gonna go to the shop there, you're gonna sell the Endicote. And you're gonna buy another 11 Molotovs. And you're going to go into your inventory, rearrange to most again, equip her with the fire ring, and the enemy skill materia. That's what you're going to equip her with. And you could, in this menu, you can equip Tifa with elemental ice, but you're going to have to go through your menu again anyway, so that's optional. It just is if you don't want to forget. Um, and then go ahead and trank Cloud and Eris, and you're good to go. 
Uh, you do need that money, Fafnir, yes, for the final shopping at Medeal for the HP plus materials and the destruct material, remember? What's up, Doma? How you doing, man? Well, now's the time to talk about it, Fafnir. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to talk about it now. It's not making me lose focus on the tutorial. Um, but so, basically, now now you're, what you want to do is we're going to go to Gongaga to pick up the Death Blow materia. So if you want to experiment with the Spiderweb, the only way to experiment, Fafnir, would be an optimal way to try and farm in the Midgur encounter. Off the mob. That's about it. Which would actually be faster than trying to steal one, I think. Uh, the people have sadness, Mr. Too Fast XD, is because in this game, if you are under the sadness uh, status effect, you take 30% less damage from both physical and magical attacks. So it's one of the ways that we help mitigate damage. Otherwise, we would die in a lot of the boss encounters that we have pretty much instantly. Like Demon's Gate, we would not be able to survive if we didn't have Big Guard and Sadness to mitigate the damage. Alright, so then after you pick up the Death Blow, you, we're going to head to the Temple of the Ancients. And this is, this is the pinnacle of the entire run. This section right here. This is where... Your dreams are dashed, or your hope is restored in humanity. Or you encounter Yuffie, and be like, I hate you, woman. What's up, Boivo? How you doing? Well, and there's another misnomer that people think, Mr. Too Fast, that you take additional damage if you're under the Fury. But, um... You don't. You just, you take normal damage, just your, you lose accuracy. Uh, well, this is part three of my tutorial. Um, I do single segment runs in, in this game in, like, less than eight hours, Mr. Too Fast. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's a long speedrun, but it's not the longest of all the Final Fantasy speedruns by any means. But, um, I mean, I am pretty far in the tutorial. I'm over halfway done with the tutorial to t of teaching people how to speedrun this game. We don't have Yuffie on our side because she doesn't really do anything to benefit the run. What's up, Sea Stoner? Sorry I didn't see you there. Thanks for saying hi. How you doing? And any of you guys that are watching this on YouTube, and if you enjoy speedruns, there's a great uh, streamer that you should check out named Domalix. He's in my channel. D-O-M-A-L-I-X. He's one of the fastest runners in the world of Mega Man X. If you enjoy watching Mega Man X, you should check out Domalix, D-O-M-A-L-I-X on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Domalix. And he's a really cool guy. One of my best friends in the team. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is um you're gonna get an encounter you're gonna run from the first encounter we're gonna get two encounters on this screen okay guys two encounters on the screen this is one of the areas where we reset the step counter so if you're behind you're fine this is a great this is a great place to catch up if you're behind on the step counter So we pick up the trident from that because we're going to end up selling that later. Alright, I'm going to show you guys a cool trick 
So I'm going to save here. I'm going to show you a trick. Do you, if you see, if you look there, there's a materia right there. That's a Lux Plus materia. You're actually able to grab it from here on the stairs. You just have to kind of be next to it. Like, there we are. So I'm going to reset the my positioning. But you see, you can grab it. Like, right there. This is the spot to grab it. It's... It's like a little bit of a glitch there, but you can grab it and you get and it does help. If you give that to Tifa, it does help throughout the run to have that luck plus. So just a little trick to show you guys. I usually try and get on the run, but because this is a reset zone, it is worth um Okay, hold on, I'm gonna just finish the point. It is worth running back and forth a little bit to try and get it. Now, this is the reset zone. What you want to do is you want to get as close to the entrance here and you're going to run back and forth to farm the encounter. You see, I don't want to go in here yet. Alright, that's fine. So this one, this fight, we're going to do something. You're going to throw a Molotov on Tifa and you're going to cast Laser on Tifa. You're going to throw the Molotov with Cloud. Since he has cover materials, he won't cover. And you're going to laser with Eris, and then you're going to run from the battle. You're going to start running during the laser cast, like this. And the reason we're being for this is we want to get into a critical HP. Alright. So now, this, this little stone part is really easy. It has a set pattern. It has two patterns that I've noticed, but more often than not, always has the same pattern. It's not that difficult. There's really nothing to explain here. Just don't, don't screw it up. Make sure you're underneath the pillar. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this section here. It sounds so funny in the emulator. Da -na -na. All right. So now we continue. Don't talk to that guy. Fuck him. We don't need to talk to him. We're cool. All right. So now this is important. Don't spam your text boxes too much here. It's one text box. Then this. You're gonna hit triangle for move it myself. Circle, 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 circle until you get to 30, like 30 minutes section, then you're gonna proceed down there. Now I'm gonna be so sad if I screw this part up, but I don't think I am. All right. It would be nothing but rust if I screw this up. All right, so now you're gonna wanna catch him. So what you're gonna do to catch him, you're gonna jump down here you're gonna go through the second door on the right there we are and then to go back up you're gonna go through this doorway here like so they're gonna run back up into the doorway like so and you're up top now menu before the boss ATB on wait as before ATB on wait as before so it was on active you're putting it to wait then Equipment. This is how your equipment should already look, but just verify. Fire ring on Eris. Power wrist, silver armlet, power soul on Tifa. We're all good there. Materia. This is big. Death blow on Tifa. Luck plus if you picked it up. And you know what? It's probably best to do Shiva elemental for the ice because then you don't have the minus one strength. But, you already have had ice equipped, so it's just an extra menuing, so that's up to you. I don't really bother with that. Then make sure you heal everybody but Tifa to full. Okay. Now, you're going to want to hyper cloud. Mm. You don't want to hyper cloud because he'll die to red dragon in one shot. So, that's the menu.
Gonna save there, fast forward through this section, just run to the right, through the dialogue. So Cloud's gonna have a spaz attack, then we're gonna be on Red Dragon. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys multiple scenarios of this boss fight. First priority is getting big guard up. That's your first and that's your number one priority is to get big guard up right away. <laughs> Alright, so you see, this is the best case scenario right here. Oh, look at that. Cloud survived with 4 HP. So you see, if I did not have Sadness on there, he would have died. So this is the best case scenario. So, you're gonna Big Guard with Cloud, Death Sentence with Tifa, with er Death Sentence Tifa with Eris, and then you're going to, um... And then you're going to just do a normal attack with Tifa, then you're gonna cross slash with Cloud, Death Blow with Tifo while doing one Aqualung with Eris, and then you're gonna just do nothing but Death Blows with Tifa using the ATB weight trick, which I will explain as I do. And that's gonna be the fight, so let's do it. So the ATB weight trick is... Oh. I guess... Okay, it's fine. Let's see what happens. No, you know what? It's because I was doing it. Let's see. Hold on. I gotta reload it. It's because I was explaining too much. I didn't do it fast enough for the actual fight. So I didn't get the attacks off in time um, because I was explaining a little too long. Because what I would ideally have wanted to do was while he was doing his red dragon breath on Cloud, I wanted to already have the big guard cast, already have the death sentence cast, and have Tifa with her attack procced doing the ATB weight trick while they were casting big guard and death sentence. So I gave the boss a little too much time to do stuff because I was just explaining too much. So he should give me the same RNG because the RNG is predetermined by the time we get into the battle, so he should hit Cloud again with the Red Dragon Breath, but we'll see. If he doesn't, then shit the fuck. Okay, shit the fuck is, is, is real. So we're gonna hope that... So I'm gonna give you now the scenario if we don't get Cross Flash, and I'm gonna keep doing the fight over again until we do get it, so... And then, of course, Cloud did not cover there. Which is a problem, so now we gotta revive her and death sentence her all over again. Which is a pain in the butt because we also have to big guard her again. And Cloud dodging there is not a good thing. Not a good thing. We want Cloud to be taking damage. So that he can build up a cross slash. So now we're this is uh this is basically what a cross slash list uh battle looks like. Is that you're kinda just praying for R to RNG that she hits her death blows. Uh, she sh he should have been dead there. Um, well, I'm gonna restart this anyway. So yeah, that was unfortunate damage rolls on that fight. That was unfortunate damage rolls on that fight. So let's try. Let's hope for some better RNG here, so I can show you a different way of doing the fight. But I like that that happened so I could give you guys different scenarios. That's always a good thing. 
always a good thing in a tutorial to just kind of display every situation. Now I'm going to get the situation I want. I'm going to get the situation I want this time. So this is me showing you guys again what I explained the first time. So I'm using the ATB rate, uh, wait trick to freeze time right now. And since he's paralyzed, he's going to always get hit by her death blow. Alright, so that's how the fight is naturally supposed to go. So I showed you both scenarios, worst case scenario and best case scenario, when you did not go into the battle with a cross slash. Now, you will do the exact- if you have a cross slash already, the newest- th the, the thing that you're gonna end up doing is that you're gonna do the same pattern that I just did. You're gonna big guard with Cloud, death sentence with Eris, attack with Tifa, then you're gonna cross slash with Cloud afterwards. You don't- you just wait to see what he does first. If you have the limit break already with Cloud, you wait to see who he targets, because if he downs Tifa, it's a waste to cast big guard. Okay? It's a waste to cast Big Guard if he's just going to kill Tifa. So you have to kind of see what the dragon's going to do first if you already have the limit break. The raid was good, Anima. The raid was good. We got down to Tectus. We, we, we down Tectus. That was, uh, that was a fun fight. Alright, so there's a little bit of step manipulation coming up, you guys. After this phone call and stuff, you're gonna walk six steps. Okay, you're gonna walk six steps. So when this screen comes up, One, two, three, four, five, six. Go. Six steps. Then you're gonna talk to the. Oh, you're gonna talk to this dude. Rest here. You're gonna go. Your ATB should still be on weight. The only thing that you should have to do here is you're gonna get rid of a little bit of Tifa's limit break. You're gonna reset it, and you gotta re sadness everybody. Now I'm gonna show you multiple. I'm going to show you multiple Demon Gate strategies, okay? I'm going to show you three different strategies on Demon's Gate. And you guys decide which one you want to do. That is going to be up to you. As an individual runner, what defines you is how you do your Demon's Gate, pretty much. One thing I did forget, so I'm going to go back I'm going to go back because I do need to do this. Is you do want to equip Cloud with the Dragon Armlet. That is a big deal. That is a big deal and I screwed that up and I apologize for it. Make sure that you equip Cloud with the Dragon Armlet. You're weird. No, the water ring does not sell for one. The water ring sells for like 4,000, 5,000 gil. does not sell for one. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do again is you're going to big guard, death sentence, and with Tifa, you're going to heal Cloud in this scenario with the first attack. Just to be safe. This is the safest strategy you can do that I'm showing you guys right now. I'm showing you guys safe. Then you're gonna throw a Molotov with Cloud, attack with Tifa, and have a Molotov clock like this. So this is how your fight should look. Two people should do their attacks. So your ATB meter should look like this. Should have two blank, 
and one person ready to throw something and throw a Molotov. So, you're gonna throw a Molotov, attack, proc a uh, proc a Molly right here. So it looks like this. He attacks. All right. You're gonna throw another Molly. Hold proc again. Just hold it again. And just rinse and repeat like this. At this point, with the damage spread being what it is, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna healing win with Aerith. So we heal, Tifa's gonna do another attack, boom, boom, Molly. Boom, boom, Molly. So now Tifa has a limit break. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use her limit break during clouds casting of it. Now, I could have actually taken the time and let it do the critical one, but I don't want to give him any more extra attacks, so I was just rushing it. So he's going to do another Demon's Rush. So now I'm going to get ready because I'm going to have to heal during this next phase. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to heal Eris, because she always takes the most amount of damage anyway. Now, pay attention to your big guard, because it's going to run out here so Eris is going to be the one to recast it you should have enough big guard here for this attack and with uh, Cloud we're going to go ahead and heal himself And we're gonna heal Tifa with Eris, and everyone should be full health for the, uh, well, pretty much full health for the next Demon's Rush. As you can tell, this is obviously looking like it's taking quite a while. That's because this is the slowest strategy. But technically, like, the safest because we're not relying on Deathblow RNG to win the battle. But this is not my particular strategy that I prefer. Alright, so he is down. There's strategy number one for Demon's Gate. Now, next strategy I'm going to show you guys is a hybrid strategy. Pretty sure I have to re-equip the dragon armlet. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna make the save there now. Alright, so I'm gonna show you now my hybrid strategy that I like to do. Now, what I like to do for this one is I like to do regular attacks with Tifa until she gets a limit break, or until we get him into the set into the demon rush phase. Cause then he the demon's rush is much easier to manage. So we're gonna do, so I'm gonna show you my the strategy that I prefer doing. This is the one that I prefer doing at the mo at the present moment. So again, big guard, and this is actually going. This is the worst case scenario. To be honest, he did a double icicle drop at the start of the fight. So. We're gonna let, we're gonna keep Tifa in critical for this because we're gonna try and take advantage of that a little bit. For one attack. Let's see, she's got a limit break now, so he's quickly rushing me into doing death blow now for my hybrid strategy. So I'm just gonna do death blows now that she has her limit break. And we're going to hope for the best here. 
which is already kind of occurring. So we've already knocked him into Demon Rush phase because doing damage with critical HP and hitting that death blow put him into the Demon's Rush phase. And this, that's where the counterattack comes in. She has counterattacked both attacks that have occurred to her. Or one, two out of three attacks that have occurred to her. So it's really good. Really good RNG on that counterattack right now. And so far she's hit one out of three death blows. So if she hits the next death blow, then it's kind of even for if you were doing normal attacks at the moment. So this Demon's Rush might put Tifa into critical, which will make the next, um, yeah, see, this will make the next de death blows all the more, all the more worthwhile if they hit. So we're going to hope to God they do. Boom, there's one. So this is already where the strategy pays off to use death blow. As you can see, now we're bursting him the fuck down quickly. He's in a lot of pain. So we're going to get one more death blow in and hope for the best. We're going to heal her just to be safe. And so there it goes. So you saw this was much faster. This obviously was much faster. The only, the only drawback of that being so fast was that Cloud did not get a limit break, which we will need for Genova, Genova Life. So we will need to farm him a limit break now. So now, but in that scenario, now I will show you the third and final and the riskiest scenario you can do, which is just flat out doing death blows only. This obviously has the potential to be the fastest way to do Demon's Gate, but the probability is so much lower for it to be but with this strategy you can if you get a decent amount of death blow RNG you could be a minute or up to a minute and a half two minutes faster than just normal attacks only it's that much quicker if it works out So we're not even going to use Tifa to heal in this scenario. This is full on YOLO mode. We're just having Tifa start off death blowing. And Cloud's going to have to self heal himself in the next instance. So the, there you go. Boom. Already got a death blow off of it. So we're starting off the fight as good as it can get. So he's hit two out of three. That's what makes the strategy so powerful. If it works, it really works. And there's the counterattack coming into play. He should already be in Demon's Rush phase by this point, I believe. And he is. So that's how quickly we got him in a Demon's Rush phase. With that luck there. Right now her luck's starting to die down a little bit. But that's the part of the game, that's part of the strategy, is that you're depending on luck. And if luck isn't with you, it's not with you. I will, Fafnir, I will. Alright, so now you see Cloud is in his limit break, which is great. That's a perfect scenario for Cloud. So we're going to heal Eris at this point. We want her over 300 HP pretty much. For that exact reason. So we're going to do a healing win with Eris to get everybody up to pretty much full life. 
pay attention to your big guard. As it's going to be running out soon. Okay. It's going to be running out pretty much now. So we're going to refresh the big guard for the Demon's Rush coming up. And Tifa is dodging, which is not the best case scenario at the moment because you want her to have that chance of being put into critical da HP. Well, I mean, I, I have been doing true YOLO champ. The problem is, Tifa's dodged the last two Demon's Rushes, so all the healing I've done would have kept her in um, critical HP up to this point, had it not done that. Alright, so there he goes. He's down. So, the, the truest form of yellowing this boss is keeping Tifa at critical HP as much as you can, and healing her just to the point where after a demon's rush she'll be in critical HP. But again, I tried doing that to show you guys, but she kept dodging the demon's rushes, so she was just getting nothing but pure healing. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna explain I'm not gonna do that, champ, because that's suicide for only people that are really skilled. That's nothing I'm gonna put into a tutorial. I don't want anyone trying that off the bat as an idea. Um, and one other thing that I'm going to explain about that boss fight is there is a small chance, but it has happened to me quite a bit, there's a small chance he's going to cast a move called Petrify Eye. It puts a 30 second timer on one character to be petrified, and Demon's Gate will not target that person again. So, if that target is Tifa, it's not a bad- it's like the worst scenario, but it's not the wor- it's not the worst scenario because then she doesn't get targeted. But, sh you have to kill her. You have to kill off that person before the 30 second timer runs out, or they'll die. And you're just- you'll wipe on Demon's Gate. Now, there is another small chance that he'll do it twice. He has done it twice to me before. In the same battle, he has petrified Cloud and Tifa in the same battle, making that fight pretty much over. So then, obviously, this is just the, the you know, this little story part that I'll skip through here. But that was that section is the hardest section in the entire speedrun. If you can master the Demon's Gate fight, you have mastered m the hardest battle in the game. It is the hardest battle mechanically, and it is the hardest battle sur with survivability-wise. It is the hardest battle in the whole game, bar none. Anyone who says differently is selling something, and I'm not buying it. All right. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna be like, you're gonna get this little cutscene, which is kind of funny. This happens if you go to Gonga for the first time, which this is technically the first time we're in the town. Now, here you're gonna do a couple things. You're gonna swap your party members, and you're gonna put ATB back onto active. So you're gonna swap party members. You're gonna replace Barrett with Sid. Swap it to ATB active. Okay, so ATB active. Sorry, I'm doing it fast for a tutorial for some fucking reason. I don't know. Alright, then you're gonna give him materia of exit and enemy skill. And that's it. You're not gonna trank them. Don't trank them. And you're gonna put him in the back row. Okay, that's all you're doing there. Then you're going to your t tiny Bronco and you're heading up to Bone Village. I need to stop swearing in the tutorial. That's bad. Sorry. 
I hope you guys are enjoying the tutorial. Again, if there is anything that confuses you about what I have explained so far, you need to leave a comment for me and I will get to it right away. As soon as I can, I will get to your question on your comment um, on the video. Or you can send me a Twitch PM, any way you want to contact me with questions. There are multiple ways to do that, through YouTube or through Twitch, Twitter, what have you. What's up, Twan Man Portugan? How's it going, sir? And for all of you guys that are watching, if you want to see, I believe Twan Man has been speedrunning, I think he started speedrunning Twilight Princess. You should follow Twan Man Portugan on on Twitch, and also you should follow Champion Beef on Twitch as well. He runs Gunstar Heroes and other things. Right. So then we just go into here like so. First thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna talk to this dude. Say you want to start digging for the Lunar Harp. Then right away. You're going to hit square to bring up this menu, and you're going to go to done. And as you're going to just hit square again as you're moving. Uh, you're still doing Super Mario 3D World? Okay, so if you like Super Mario speedruns, you should follow Twan Man Portugan on Twitch. It's T-W-A-N-M-A-N-P-O-R-T-U-G-A-N. Okay, so then for the Lunar Harp, you want to be in this position, like right around here. And you're going to order a search. Then we're going to collect our spoils, which is the Lunar Harp. And that's all for this village. It's pretty, you know. I mean, can you imagine these guys? Like, what kind of, what kind of lives these people must live here? Good lord. I almost feel sorry for them, but they're not real. Good, alright, cool, Twan Man. I'm glad to see that you're staying the course then. And for all the people that I've given shoutouts to on the LZH speedrunning team today, I will link their you their Twitch in my um, in the comment section or in the uh, info section of this video. Okay. So this is an area where your step counter is very important. You must be crisp in your movement. So you're gonna go like this. You're gonna grab the water ring. If you did it correctly, you should get an encounter right before you show up at the end of this thing. Now, since you have a limit break already on cloud, this is where you would farm it, if not. You would put a hyper on cloud for development fury status, and you would do this encounter until he gets a limit break. Do not leave this area. Do not run from that encounter without a limit break on cloud, or you will die on Genova Life. Just telling you that right now. All right, so then we're just running again. There's no walking or step manipulation. It's just crisp movement. Okay. All right. If you did the step counter correctly, you will uh, get to the next screen without an encounter. If you're a little bit behind, you'll get an encounter on that screen, but that's okay. It's recoverable from there. It's recoverable from there. But this is the scenario you want, ideally. Now I'm going to show you a fun little nifty. I'm going to show you a nifty little glitch. It's a way to do some menuing and save a little bit of time. Uh, this this glitch will save you about 20 seconds if you do it fast. All right, so I'm gonna make a save point right here because this is where the glitch occurs. Now, what you're gonna do, this is another double dialogue glitch thing. You're gonna wanna line up right here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and open the treasure chest that you see in the bottom right corner on the same frame that we go to bed I know that doesn't make sense, but for some reason, you can open that treasure chest from up here, okay? It's weird. Well, let me try it, so let me show you. They're gonna come out and you're gonna talk to you. You're gonna be like, yeah, beds look comfy, beds look comfy. 
Man, oh, good, I got it first try. So what you're gonna do is once you have that thing where it has the elixir clear, you can open up your menu during this part. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what happens both times. So I, I already, yeah, I, I can keep doing it from that spot. So I'm gonna show you the menu here, then I'm gonna do it a couple times so you can see it multiple times, and I'm gonna show you what happens. You can soft lock your game doing this glitch, just so you know. You can do a soft lock during this glitch. Now, I will show you the soft lock. Now, what you want to do as far as menuing goes, this is very important. ATB back to wait, okay? ATB back to wait. Sadness on everybody. Major importance. Take the covers off of cloud. Majorly important. Equipment. Tifa needs the gigas armlet. Very important. Without the gigas, you're done. You're, you're, you're dead. You're just done without the Gigas Armlet. Now, there is a strategy you can do where you can put the water ring on cloud. This is a safety strategy that I don't implement in my runs because Genova Life has a chance to start the fight with Aqualung. If you do the Genova Life fight correctly, she will get one attack off the entire battle. And she's got a 25% chance to have that attack be Aqualung. If she does it, you're going to have to wait out her turns anyway. You're going to lose two minutes anyway if you have the water ring equipped. So for people that are just learning the run, that are just starting out, yes, equip the water ring. Make sure you're guaranteed to move on and finish out your run. So equip the water ring. But if you're doing serious attempts at the world record, don't bother with it, in my opinion. Just because you're going to lose so much time if she does aqualung you and you survive just do it for practice if you still think you need practice but other than that your run's pretty much dead time wise so this is how it should all look covers off of cloud okay covers off of cloud see they're all in there tifa should have death blow gigas armlet power wrist atb's on weight Sid should already have had his enemy skill and exit from before. Now, this is, I'm going to show you what happens. This is how you soft lock the game, all right? When you get to this point here, you're going to, you're going to get to this point. If you do not, like, okay, you're going to be standing here. If you move, they won't spawn yet. But the second they spawn, if you're not on this ladder, you cannot grip the ladder anymore. Your run is done. You are stuck in this spot. It's over. You cannot go down this ladder. You have to. So what's going to happen is once you get back to the screen, you need to immediately run and grab the ladder. You need to immediately run and grab the ladder immediately. They take about two to three seconds to spawn. So you need to immediately run the ladder. So I'm going to show you guys again. So I'm going to do this in fast motion this time. Yes, that was so fast. They, we grab it and then they spawn. So we're going there. So there's how there there it is. So I'll show you guys the trick one more time. And then you're done. So there you go. That saves you. The conversation, it's what it does is it must be going, well, what did it do? What it did was it allowed you to menu during the time that you'd be going to sleep. And then it also uh, cuts away the uh, dialogue that the, that the party goes to saying, you know, Eris is here and Sephiroth's here too. I think we need to get moving. Well, no kidding, guys. Let's get our butts going, huh? Alright, so I'm there's no step count here, so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Oh, oh yep, so speedy. So speedy. Okay. Alright, so tr in in the typical tradition of me whenever God bless it. Alright. In the tradition of me. Alright, so let's make a save. Alright, so this is a tradition that I do. Forgive me, all of you. And 
I never liked Aerith. So there we go. <laughs> you monster! So there we go. So we'll skip through her her sad death. All right. Hopefully, so here here we go. We got Genova now. So here's the order of business: Big Guard with Cloud, Death Sentence with Sid, Molotov yourself with Tifa. Okay, she's gonna Aqualung. So, I get to show you the worst case scenario. Here it is. Aqualung. So, let's... We'll let the battle skip through till she's at... So, this is in fast motion. Just so you know. This is in fast... This is how much time you're losing. This is how much time you lose to this. Which is why I said... Continue the run at your own risk. But here it is. Aqualung. This is in fast motion again. Let me reiterate this. You're just gonna wait here till she's out of MP. All right, so she's out of MP finally. Now, you're gonna Phoenix down your team. The order is still the same. We just don't have to do a few things now because she can't attack. So, but you're gonna big guard. You're gonna big guard with Cloud. Okay. You're gonna death sentence with Sid. Then you would normally like Molotov yourself with uh, Tifa to reduce her HP. But at this point, it's unnecessary. Then you would cross slash with Cloud. Locking her in place and basically killing her right there. So, let me see if I can do the fight without her starting off with Aqualung. Let's just see if I can do it without the Aqualung. But, I'm pretty sure her RNG is set in stone from where I did the save point. Yep, okay, so... I can only show you worst case scenario, you guys. I can only show you worst case scenario is her doing Aquan, which is fine. So I will explain, so I will explain again with words what to do. Your order of business. If she, she's gonna start off, hopefully, with blue light or blue flame, it's fine. Um, what you wanna do, if she blue lights Tifa, what you do, you start the fight off, cloud big guard, Sid, Death Sentence, Tifa. Tifa have a Molotov procced on herself. Once Big Guard is cast and Death Sentence is cast, she throws the Molotov on herself. Now, if she was attacked by Blue Light or Blue Flame, she'll be already put in critical HP, so you're fine. You're done there. Now, while she's throwing the Molotov on herself, during the time of the casting, you're going to use Cross Slash with Cloud. It is imperative that you use cross slash with cloud before she has a chance to attack again. So, during the time you're throwing the Molotov on yourself with Tifa, which because you remove the cover materials off of cloud, he will not block, you, th you use cross slash. Then, all you do is death blow and ATB weight trick to make sure that she stays paralyzed. Now, if she does not get hit by the blue light, if she does not get hit by the blue light, if she hits either Cloud or Sid with the attack, she's going to Molotov herself, Cloud's going to Cross Slash, then you're going to have her get ready, um, then you're going to have Sid throw the second Molotov on her, and you're going to quickly attack with Death Blow, and then do the ATB weight trick. So... That's the order of business. Then you then you go on the way you were doing it before. I know it sounds confusing. It's because it's complicated. So, again, big guard with Cloud, Descendants with Sid, Tifa Molotovs herself. 
Cloud uses cross slash during the time that Tifa's Molotoving herself. You throw another Molotov on her with Sid, Deathblow with Tifa, freeze the ATV. Yes, I will, Folka. I will do a regular run tomorrow. So now I will show you again. So yeah, this is worst case scenario, but you can just see how much time you lose to this. It's ridiculous, is it not? Okay. And the thing about the Aqualung that makes it so devastating is literally, there's nothing you can do about it. If she does it, your 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 run's screwed. That's that's it, you know. No, we don't, Folka, because if you just and a lot of you might be asking, well, why don't you just like try to revive everybody? Your, your Phoenix Downs are your most precious resource in this run because there are so many times that you have someone accidentally die or need to be revived because of something and you do purposely kill Tifa a couple times in this run. So Phoenix Downs you need to preserve. So if you waste so much time using your Phoenix Downs just for them to get one shot at again by Jenova, there's no point. There's no point in that. Just let her, let her do her thing, run out of MP. Alright, so this is the end of Disc 1. This is the end of Part 3 of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it informative. And that was the hardest stretch of the game right there that I showed you guys. Um, so, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube if you like my videos. You can follow me on Twitter at Karn64. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 64 You can follow me on Facebook at Karn64. Um, Shoutouts again to my speedrunning team at Lazura. You can find us at mylzh.net. If any of you guys are speedrunners or looking to become a speedrunner and want to park yourself with a really awesome team, if you enjoy my runs, if you enjoy me as a person and want to be on the same team as me, um... You can go to apply.mylzh.net and sign up to try and join our speedrun team. Um, other than that, shoutouts again to my stream and have the best people on Twitch. You guys are the best. So um, I hope you enjoy. Again, if anything is confusing to you or need clarification on anything, don't hesitate to leave me a comment on the YouTube video. I love comments on the YouTube video. Like, subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and until next time, guys, we'll see ya.